Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna be looking at a Japanese temple problem, in other words, a Sangaku. Nine congruent circles with radius r are inscribed in a unit circle as shown, find r. At this point, you may just want to pause the video and give this problem a try. Alright, let's get started. So, notice that we do have a unit circle, so its radius is 1, and then nine congruent circles were inscribed in this circle. So they're all tangent to each other and they are also, the four of them are tangent to the large circle. So as always, we're gonna be, you know, starting with connections. So let's go ahead and make some connections here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the centers of these two circles here. We can obviously make many connections here, but they're all gonna be symmetrical. So it doesn't really matter much. So I'm going to be making that type of connection first. And then in order to proceed, I'm also going to be connecting these two centers and then these two centers. That's going to give me a lot of good information. Okay. All right. Now, since the radius of each small circle is R, let's go ahead and label them. This is R. 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 Now, one thing we don't know yet at this point is the hypotenuse of this right triangle here, right? That's what we need. So the center for the circle in the middle also happens to be the center for the large circle, right? From symmetry, it has to be that way. So what I can do now is actually go ahead and calculate the hypotenuse of this right triangle. What is the hypotenuse? Well, this, this is a 45-45 triangle. So the hypotenuse is just going to be the square root of two times the side length, right? And the side length is r plus r, which is 2r. So that will be 2r multiplied by root 2. So this length here is going to be 2r multiplied by root 2. So I can write it as 2 root 2 multiplied by r. And then this length is r here. So what this gives me is actually a really good thing to work with from this point. To this point, the distance between those two points is actually the center, I mean, sorry, the radius for the large circle, which is a unit circle, right? So that happens to be one. So the big R, if you call that big R, I can just go ahead and mark that here too, like this, right? So suppose this length is called big R. I know that big R is equal to, right? Big R is equal to what? Two square root of two R plus R. Since this is a point on the big circle, that length is the radius, right? Awesome. But we know that the big R is the radius of the unit circle, which happens to be 1. So this is equal to 1, actually. So that's a breaking point, right? From this point on, let's go ahead and solve for R. But we're going to be getting an interesting result here. So let's go ahead and go all the way to the end. Okay. What do we get from here? How do you solve for R? Well, this time we kind of came across an easier problem because we don't have to solve a quadratic, right? For this problem, we do not need to go through the Pythagorean theorem. Well, we are using it in a sense, but we don't have to deal with quadratics at least, so which is kind of easy. So what I'm going to do here is actually these are like terms, so they can be added, meaning that I can factor out R. That's going to give me 2 root 2 plus 1. And then this is going to equal 1. Notice that the small r is what we're looking for, the radius of the small circle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is divide both sides by 2 root 2 plus 1. And that pretty much does it. Except we want to make this look nicer by rationalizing the denominator. And then for rationalizing the denominators, we're going to be using the conjugate of this expression, which is, well... You can argue that it's going to be 1 minus 2 root 2, but that doesn't really matter here. So I'm going to use the 2 root 2 minus 1. Same thing. It's just going to negate some stuff here. And then once I multiply those, that's going to give me r equals 2 root 2 minus 1 in the numerator. And then denominator is going to give me the difference of two squares, which is 2 root 2 squared. Awesome. 2 root 2 squared minus 1 squared. And 2 root 2 squared, as you may or may not know, it's 4 times 2, which is 8. So from here, r is going to equal 2 root 2 minus 1 over 8 minus 1, 
which is equal to 7, right? So this expression is actually going to equal, in the simplest form, our radius is going to equal 2 root 2 minus 1 over 7. That's it. We found the radius. And if you're wondering what this result is going to look like, root 2 is about 1.4. So you're going to multiply that by 2. That's going to be like 2.8-ish. Subtract 1, it's going to be like 1.8-ish. And divide by 7, you're going to get something like 0.2-ish. Okay, because 0.23 will be too much for that. And pretty much that's going to be uh, the result. Okay? Well, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.